Hi guys, it's Luke from Luke's Mushrooms. We have Friday the 19th of August 2022. We are in Slovakia again and we are going to hunt for some mushrooms. Let's start. On the side of the forest road I have spotted this nice Scarletina bolit. Just need to get there, which is not so easy. Here we have one more. It's quite pretty. Here we have some fly agarics. Already old ones. And one Scarletina. I didn't expect so many Scarletinas today. But we have them. we have them here. And a very nice surprise. Can you see that? I have spotted this one just now. But it's a beautiful tip. I'm wondering if a picture would be worth it, but probably yes. So I took some pictures and now it's time to take it. You simply cannot leave such a beautiful zep in the forest. And here is one more Scarletina. This looks like a bit older tzep, but I think it's quite firm, so there is a chance it could be usable. So yes, it was healthy. I think this one will be perfect for drying it. And we have some more Scarletinas here. This one is too much destroyed, I will not take it. But there is still one more. There are some more Scarletinas here. This one does have untypically bright stem. And the other one is quite huge. But I will not take the big one.
and the big one under this tree looks quite good Again, next to the forest road, some mushroom, I think it's a scarletina. Yes. Very pretty. And one very nice Amanita muscaria. Or the fly agaric. Here we have one more scarletina. This one is young and very nice. Here we have a tsep. But it's quite a bit damaged. And one more Scarletina. But this one is getting moldy. So it will stay here. We have some more Scarletinas here. This is the first one, I think the smallest one. Then we have two bigger ones here, but I don't want to take these. I think they are getting moldy. Then one more here. This one looks very nice. And the last one here. Two more Scarletinas and one Rusula. Seems like there are two Rusulas, not just one. It's a hot summer day and it seems like mushrooms are growing mostly in places which are in shadow. Now I found a place in a quite dense terrain but I found four scarletinas here and they look very good there are also some bitter beach bolides not sure if you can see them But con let's continue for these scarletinas. I didn't notice there are two here. This is a bigger one. Looks really excellent. A smaller one here. So it's four of them. This one is quite big I will let it be but behind me I have noticed one more this one doesn't look so nice but never mind two more scarletinas this one is moldy but this one looks good.
one more bullet to the dulis. This one seems to be pretty dehydrated. But I'm not sure if I will take it. It seems to be too old. One more bullet to the dulis. I think this one will be wormy because of these holes from the bottom and the stem is quite soft, but we will see. And just a few meters from it there is one more. This one seems to be somehow damaged by something. I don't know what it is. We'll check that. This is an interesting place. We have one Scarletina here. One moldy Scarletina here. One nice and young Scarletina which I will take. Second Scarletina which I will take. And here we have two old zeps, which I will not take, of course. In this very dense forest, there are more and more Scarletinas, which look very nice. It's just difficult to walk around them. but it's worth so that's three and there is at least one more. Yeah, there are these two, but I'm not going to take these. And some more nice mushrooms here. Here we have a Scarletina bolete and a fly agaric. Here I'm crouching under young trees and I spotted these two guys. Not sure if this one is good, but there is one more, a young one. So that's it for today. Our smaller basket is full. We have mostly Scarletina bolides, but also some ceps. Especially this one is very nice. It was healthy and very well shaped. So thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, click the like button. If you don't want to miss my future videos, click the subscribe button. And see you next time. Bye bye.